Good evening. This is Master Trams, and welcome back to my channel. It's been roughly eight months since I last uploaded. But yeah, I thought I'd start again with two brand new series, of which this is the first. Now you'll be able to see here that I'm on PC, OpenTTD. This is a game you, you'll recognise, but obviously you've got many functions up here and information down here instead of sides, bottom, and as you're probably used to from my videos. Anyway, this map, this is, well, as you can probably tell from the names, this is a multiplayer map. It is a map which I have converted into a, or rather loaded into a single player game, and this series will be me continuing this map, and specifically trying to make the yellow company who are called JMD Transport Group and well yeah we'll be making them as good a company as can be so I'm just following the main main line at the moment creatively called the Great Southern Main Line, and it splits later on. If I just come all the way down here, there it splits into the Southwestern Main Line and continues as the Great Southern Main Line. That's a branch line up there. Through here. Through here, 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 and then this is where it splits into the Great Southeastern Main Line and the Great Eastern Main Line. And this is the entire map. So, yeah, I have got a list of things I want to be getting on with. Looking at finances, though. We might struggle to get it all done. And because of the way I believe I've got OBS to work, you should only see o Open DDD and not me flicking between windows because I've got an awful lot of planning documents that I'll be constantly flicking through to try and make this map work. Alright, anyway, given that this is a pilot episode for the new series, I thought I'd just start with a relatively easy task, and that involves this line here, which currently gets an alright service, but it's going to be changed completely. Well, I say completely. The main bit of it won't be. So, yeah. Let's get on with it. Actually, if I just pause it. First task I've got planned is simply to, if I go into here... Oh, yeah, you'll see that in the last multiplayer session we did me and the people in my team have started franchising the network but there you go PLL that is this line that's because that's based off a misconception when I was introduced to this map I thought this was part Bourne Bridge hence the PLL 
it's actually a bar pump bridge, so really it should be the BLR, but it isn't. Uh, anyway, the first task that I've got lined up for this map is to strip this line of all its services to give us a clean slate from which to work. Which means all of you lot send to depot and sell. And if we open all of these then we should be able to see that they are heading to the depot. Rather slowly. No, no, some are getting there. Yeah, because I've got them to sell when they get to depot, you'll see them slowly disappear off the screen. No, I'm not quite a wizard at editing just yet. directed to a depot, I believe. Last train. Pause. Okay, that was a useful experiment. I've just found out from watching that intro back that actually you'll be seeing a blank screen instead of open DTD whenever I switch screens, which is a tad annoying, but I don't know how to fix that yet. I'm just not skilled enough with, Open D with OBS Studio yet. So yeah. Anyway. I'll try and keep switching to sc screens to a minimum. Right, second task to be getting on with. It's this station here. Bartborn Bridge West. It's getting rebuilt as is the junction around it. So, we'll get the auto tool out for the first time. There, hold on. Let's just go into settings. I really should do this beforehand. Uh, all actions. Go to about there. and then destroy the depot. Right, now let's quickly upgrade the station using the Dutch mod uh, buffer stops. Uh, how many platforms? Go free. Oh wait, hold on. Now universal. That's what this network's using. 
I reckon at some point in this series we're going to undergo a massive project to just convert the network into UKRS track which will give us much more realism which ultimately is something I'm aiming for right then this is just going to be a quiet country station so I'm thinking benches uh, yeah entrance small bridge and that can go there uh, yeah why not and what else well let's just go the black platform because why not now in island platforms let's get the benches wherever they are there uh, signs Leave on for the uh, there you are, and then blank. And there you go. And we will rename this to simply Dartborn Bridge. First off, let's establish the main line. And space for signals. There you go. Now, if we signal this up, this should be the new junction for Bartholm Bridge Station. Oh, wait, we want to depot, don't we? Uh, right, where can we put this? There. Right, signals. Yay! Protect that junction. Protect this one. Yeah, pretty basic signaling layout. Yeah, my word, it is so much easier to play this game. Don't think I've missed any signals there. I sincerely hope I haven't. Right, anyway, yeah, so that is Bart Bridge Station done. Uh, next is. Oh, destroy that depot. I do not like depots in the middle of the line. That's probably a remnant of a crash somewhere along the line. Pun unintentional. And. Hold on. This station, bye bye, you're getting redesigned. Now then, what do we want? You know what? 
going to just go with a fairly standard. Uh, no, don't want Plantville Central. Didn't realize I was a bus station. Plantville. Going to go with one of my nicer designs. One which I've had a lot of practice with. There you go, simple station. Looks clean. Now this junction I've already signaled because I was a project I completed myself when I first joined this company. And there. That is Planville Station done. Next up is Cundinghall North Station, which will involve a road rearrangement round here. Sheets, magic bulldozer. Because town authorities really get on my nerves sometimes. Right, the idea I've got for this station, I will get rid of that level crossing too, isn't needed. is to have a bridge here. Yeah, just a thought that that'll do. Oh, and why is this bloke done? Who, who, who owns this? Uh, whoever light blue is. Come on, where was I? Ah, there. Why is he do oh junction work? Yeah, of course. Meaning I'm gonna put the bridge here. Nope. Just clean this place up. And yeah, ta the town should be able to grow from that. Oh, and there you go. Right now, in Cundingall North Station, what do we want to do with it? First off, I'm all, oh look it chose the right name, how clever of it. Right, station sign, yeah let's go with Hedge, why not. Just because I like the idea of a hedge there. That is Cuntingall North Station. Right, what's next on the list? Ah, yeah, we're going to completely leave this line and redesign this station here, which will also give me an opportunity to introduce you to programmable signals, which are going to 
feature greatly in this series. Let's just get all the trains through. Right then. Hope that express doesn't mind. I'm probably just going to end up creating exactly the same station over again. So I mean, the goal is to have a. So we're going to move it closer in. I'm going to move this bus station to make it more of the bus station. Because there are plenty of towns out here that it could serve. Right then, let's get single track and just create the basic skeleton. No, you need to remember to press control. There you go. And then have these here. And then buffer stops. Really quite a simple station. Sorry, you might be able to hear me moving on my chair, but yeah, why not? It's in accordance with display screen equipment regulations, room to fidget. Prettify the station afterwards. But first up, got a signal. Industries invisible for a minute. Right then. Now on to pro by the program with signals. Yeah. Now then. This one. I'm not going to have express trains terminate here. That I know. So then deny. However, if next order is all trains coming out of the terminus platforms will stop there, then allow. I'm basically verbalizing my thought processes here. So that means that only terminating trains can access these platforms we want to make sure they can't get into these platforms. So, insert deny. Now then,
hold on. Does the express? Yes, the express does stop here. So yeah. If next order is time field number or the next order is the big terminus at Gendingbury Woods, then it will allow. Oh, and hold on. Just need to add these signals in there. And I think that is all the programming that needs to be done. So then, just to check, this express train should go into here. Yep, indeed it does. Alright, now wait for it to leave, and we'll get on with Britifying this station. Now then, how do we want this to look? Have it mirrored in hog, sort of thing. Wait, that's in hog too. Ooh. It. Ah, yes, sod it. Let's just go for this. Really quite simple design. Nothing too complex. There. Oh, and I said I'd move this bus station too, didn't I? East, remove that one so the buses can turn around, and yeah, as far as I'm aware it won't be used just yet, nope, but there, it's done. Right, what's next? Ah, implementing new services. This service is Grondinghead St. Felix, so this station here, round here, and into this station where it will terminate. And I think I'm going to use a depot here to timetable this train. think is just going to be a sprinter. Yeah, maybe an express sprinter. Ooh. I'm 
Hold on, if we give ourselves a bit of money. Yeah, I'm not going to spare any expense. Best save. Uh, you can do a hundred miles an hour. Be used to a regional. Ah. Hello. Right, I do prefer to use fees, but I think for the PLL, we'll make an exception. Unless we can find a better alternative down here. Nope. Right, how long are you? 1.2. If we string two of you together. There. So then, depot. Oh, um, no. Let's hope this train to get out of the way. There we go. Right then. Depot station. And you mustn't unload. You mustn't load. Then we'll stop at Monting. Mondingville East, Mondingville Actual, Planville, Skip Barkwon Bridge, Cunting Hall North, and then into Grunting Head St. Felix. Now then. Let's just follow this on for a minute. Right now, you've started. We will auto fill your timetable. Is one drawback of OPS. I can't actually tell on screen how long this video has been going on for, which was something I could do on my phone. But maybe that's because I haven't configured OBS right. Mostly the settings for OBS are so complex. And now as we join the South East Great South the Great Southern Main Line, briefly. Went into Grunting at St. Felix. Yeah, no, this station's going to need redeveloping. But at some point. Back onto the PLL. Does a does this new giraffe not have any sounds to it? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, bother! That's. Right, turns out I'll be introducing you once more to programmable signals. Because we need to sort this out. Right, no, 
ditch the waypoints. Programmable signal. Programmable signals all the way. Right. Deny unless your next order is plant them. In that case, allow. And you, because I know no express services will run on this line, you shall deny unless your next order is Mondingville East in which case you shall allow pretty simple but anyway let's, let's just speed it up speed it up Hmm. Actually, I might just quickly sort out Mondingville East, improve this, improve this bit of the junction. Because it's not satisfying me at the moment. One bridge over. How hard is it? Oh, and it's a nice bridge too. I'm just fast forwarding this so should be done in a jiffy so it does make for increased time awareness without sounds as you're just constantly noticing the second slipping away. This junction is really quite inefficient. It is going to be a pain in the bat side going forward, isn't it? But do tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I do believe this microphone is picking up absolutely everything.
by going back into Channing for Victoria. Which is going to get its own upgrade in the next. or in the next episode actually right pause it and now time to show you the clever bit about open TTD JGR patch pack right wait for five minutes of a terminus can wait for two minutes there because that's a busy station and you're practically alone on this stretch of line. Let's take five minutes at St. Felix. And again, three minutes practically everywhere. Right, and then just wait it, make it wait five minutes. Nice round number. Doesn't actually provide any benefit, but yeah, why not? Actually, yes, it does provide benefit, and I'm about to show you why. We're going to timetable this service using the scheduled, 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 whatever, the, well, the dispatch. Do tell me in the comments which which one you'd rather me say because comments are the only way I'm gonna find out what you think so yeah that's why you timetable the depot because otherwise it will be scheduling dispatch from this order which you do, don't want right then I, I want it leaving Chenningville on the hour so, you stay at Chenningville, Victoria for five minutes prior to departing. And it takes you seven minutes to get from the depot to the station. Well, no, two minutes. So we need to leave the depot seven minutes prior to the hour, which is 7.53. Right, what hours do we want this service to run? Uh, 6 through to 11? Something like that. Well, on, it takes near enough 3 hours to run, so... Maybe 6 through to 10. Yes, yeah, 6 through to 10. So then 5.53. Right, the way through to 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, well on set date, 20 and then 21. There you go. Now then this requires three vehicles, so we'll give it four. One, two, three, four. Not enough cash. Sod it. And go. What's the next service to run? 
I will probably edit these next out, these next, or well, these remaining three surfaces out. But you'll at least get to see me route them, not necessarily timetable them. So then, the next one makes use of Mondingville and goes all the way to Get Hill East. Let's put a ruddy great bridge over. Don't I just lower this? Put that in there. Share with that one. Then delete that one. And like that. Basically, I just want to lower this terminating platform. Let's just go with the same train. This one will go. Oh, sorry, no. Wrong one. No unloading. Clownville, Gunding Hill North, Rounding Head Dean Avenue, Deddingbury East Side International, down here through Farborn Wharf, which isn't actually on a wharf. 
Shush. Jenningville Parkway. Dedding Town. And then get Hill East. Okay. So if I can work out how to pause this recording. Right then. I've all I've timetabled that second route. Now third of four routes. No unloading and no loading. So this one is using Barton Bridge as a terminus. Again using Grinding at Dean Avenue. But this time going into Deddingbury Shore Street. And this will run twice daily. So yeah, pretty simple. Now I'll get on with timetabling. Right, that one's done. And now finally, we'll go for another one. The last one we're doing. Once again, Barton Bridge. Through Canton Hall North. Canton at Dean Avenue. Oh, wait, I'll there. the waypoints here too for yet more programmable signals. order is Renwell Woods or current order is traffic terminus then deny sorry allow right there you go this timetable sorted, or oh, schedule sorted. And that 
is the part born loop line done fully timetabled I was going to build a tramway bit along here in this pilot video but ran out of time so yeah hope you've enjoyed this part episode and hope you're looking forward to the rest of the series but I've also got a series on Transport Fever 2 coming up in the next few weeks so yeah here's hoping I can actually maintain these series I mean my last open DTD one did reach 20 episodes so I guess that's an achievement but yeah let's hope these actually last because I'm enjoying this map and Transport Weaver 2 is an excellent game I've wasted 200 plus hours on it since I got it so yeah this good this is good see you when the series actually starts